Yay, we're outside again. The sun is out and the skies are clear. I can breathe finally out here. Hey guys, it is Friday here on the Tea Vapes channel and today is vape vlog day and what do we start this video off with first? My e-liquid of the week. Now my e-liquid of the week goes to a company that got e-liquid of the week last week, but it's a different flavor since that last week's flavor is all gone. It goes to Cape Fear Juice Co. Woohoo! This is their revenge flavor and it is a graham cracker pie crust filled to the brim with uh, vanilla custard and it is so good. It Huh. This company definitely did things right. Like smelling it, you just want to drink it. It kind of smells like thick cinnamon vanilla-y creamer. It's so good. All right, let's take it over to Twitter and look at some of these tweets. Maricela asked, when you are out and about, do you take just one mod or a couple? Well, I actually take maybe at most three to four different e-cigs and mods out with me because I have flavor ADD and I don't want to just vape one flavor all day, although I will, but I usually take at least two different ones with me when I go out about, and definitely not this size, like I usually take an ego-sized battery. Jared wants to know the best way to clean atomizers and things and how to make coils last longer. And basically, you know, almost all of the tanks and things that I've had are washable. Like, Indoor Smokers has some pretty funny videos about how to wash your tanks proper. Um, but basically, like for anything, I just take it all apart, rinse it really good with hot water, and let it sit and dry completely before I put it back together and fill it with juice. Hi kitty kitty, you want to be in today's video? Kayla wants to know what I think of the Smoke Tech Pyrex glass and I don't have an opinion on it because I have never actually had anything from Smoke Tech. I believe I've never, I don't think I've ever reviewed something by Smoke Tech. So, sorry Kayla. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, for those of you that are even interested or even still remember, I signed up to be a foster parent for kittens and I get to pick up three foster babies today. Three little baby kitties. These kitties are actually old enough to use a litter box and um, eat hard food, so I'm just fostering them until they are, until they weigh enough to be adopted out by the Humane Society. Alright, let's take it over Facebook, and the first thing I want to do is give a shout out to Whitney. Hello there! She is actually sending me some artwork, so I can't wait to get that in the mail and show you guys. So Mercedes wants to know, what is the best tank of 2014, in my opinion, besides the Nautilus, because you all know that I love my Nautilus, and I am getting the Nautilus Mini. It actually is probably in the mail right now. <gasps> right now as in when this video goes live, not right now in, as in this morning when I'm filming because I actually don't get my mail until 3 o'clock in the evening. Anyways, Mercedes, to answer your question, I think that the aero tanks, the new ones, are pretty good. Um, I just, I'm so love my Nautilus. Oh, I do like the Evod glass. That's a really on the, that's a really good on the go tank for me. Anna asks if I rebuild coils, and I don't, but I have got my first RDA. It is by Infinite, or it is called the Infinite. I don't know, it's a quad post with a positive block, and I need to give a big shout out to Ruby. She is helping me through all of this because I am brand new to rebuildables and mechs, and I also got my first mech mod. Everybody was asking me, when are you going to do mech mods? When are you going to start dripping? Soon, guys. I have a mod, and I have an RDA. It just everything is scheduled all my reviews are scheduled so I kind of have to wait until it's time to do that but in the meantime I'm learning all about it and practicing and oh my gosh art wants to talk about lung hits versus mouth hits and I don't like just I don't know like what do you mean like what's the difference or you want to see the difference but a mouth hit is where you just inhale the vapor into your mouth and then into your lungs that's how I vape watch A lung hit, I will attempt. That's where you just straight to the lungs. There you go, Art. I don't know exactly, that wasn't really a question or anything. 
All right, so people are still asking me about my dripper. I will put a direct link below this video. Luke wants a shout out to the Australian Vapors Network. Shout out to you guys. Kendra, I believe is how you say your name. Kendra or Kendra, you're looking for a good chocolate e-juice. I would try Death by Chocolate by Virgin Vapor. I'll put a link below for you. Anna wants to know what e-liquid is more likely to crack a plastic tank. And, and that would have to be citrusy flavors like lemon or orange. Anything tropical fruity citrus is usually a crank tagger. Oh, and cinnamon or like red hot spicy vapes. All have been known to be tank crackers, but I've never had that personally happen to me. So Jessica says she's sick and she's coughing and vaping really hurts her throat and she is tempted to have a cigarette. Don't do it, Jess. I know you can be strong. If vaping is harshing out your throat, try lowering your nicotine level while you're sick. If you happen to have any lower milligram e-juices anywhere. And Misty Troy is asking about the fires and if myself and Chris from Indoor Smokers are okay. It is actually a lot better under control. The fires, there was a bunch of rain last weekend and in the beginning of the week and that really helped with the fires. And like I said, we're outside now. The skies are clear, the sun is out, and we're doing the vlogs out here. You guys wanna see this vape doll shirt? Vape doll. If you wanna go get it, I will put a link below where you can check it out yourself. Woohoo! My biggest pet peeve in the world is when I am texting somebody and we are having a full long conversation and then they just stop texting me back and don't text me back until I text them my question again or my statement again and then they're like continue on the conversation. Like bitch, do you know who the fuck I am? JK. Here's a sneak peek for next week. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Instagram. TB says, talk about the Aspire Nautilus Mini. Oh my God, you guys, I have it on the way. Like, it is probably be in the mail today or tomorrow, and it will be the first review next week. Big M 1984 says, talk about the Patriot clone. I can't. I don't have it. I got a question about where to get some cool mod wraps. I will put a link below. So I got a question from Chris Marut. Marut? I don't know how you say it. But he's asking about what is my relationship with indoor smokers. I've said this many times. We are really good friends and colleagues here on YouTube. And we met through my father. My dad, Mike, also makes appearances on Chris's Indoor Smokers and Epic Herbs review channel. And that's my dad. And he introduced us. And we've been friends for about a little over three years now. Motionless Chelsea wants to know how much e-juice I go through in a day or week. Um, well, let's see. I probably vape about... See, I feel like I vape all the time, but I really only maybe will go through three mils a day. And as far as when I was a smoker, I was a pack-a-day smoker. Loud Vibes wants to know if I will ever review the e-leaf by iJust, and I'm actually talking to that company right now. They want a review, so maybe in the future. Can't say near future, however, because my review queue is scheduled out till September 10th. Anything I get today, you guys won't see until over a month from now. All right, it's time for my weekly obsession, and my weekly obsession this week is this game. Oh my God. It is a cat game, and you play cats. It's like Pokemon for crazy cat ladies. All right, let's take it over to YouTube. Okay, so actually I just found out by looking at my YouTube comments that the dripping atomizer that everyone is so desperately wanting to find is sold out. So the people that found it sold it out and you gotta wait a little bit to get it in. But I'll still put the link below. I'm drinking my beer. I really want to smoke. I want my camel life. Oh, yeah, you know. But what do I have? My tea of vape smoke. My EC. It's kind of, kind of dope. <laughs> it's all the tobacco that I really want. No, I'm in a favor. It's just what you know. It's really good. It's E of eight smoke. Oh, what flavor? It's vanilla, don't you know? So why are you going to smoke the ciggies with the shit, the <laughs> nasty poison, the uh, uh, uh. No, we're going to smoke the Tia Vape smokes because these are natural with just a little, oh. So why are you going to smoke your Camelite, your Marble Light, your Menthol, your Durrell, 
your whatever, you know. You're gonna smoke the tea of vapes, the e ciggy, you know, because it's true, it's natural, it's the only way to go. Okay, so the comments on all of last vape vlog video were about the giveaway and when I was going to be doing more. Because so I said I was going to be doing more and I do have a ton of more stuff to give away. But I sent out over almost $200 worth of prizes this month. So I'm going to wait till next month to start another giveaway because I believe the first is a Friday. The first is a Friday, so I will be announcing a giveaway then and most likely run that giveaway through August. If you haven't already registered for the forum at epicesigreviews.com, you should because we are giving away a mega, mega arrow tank and an eye taste click to one lucky winner. That's it for today's vape vlog video. I hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned to my channel for more reviews. Subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys.